recognize me? Do you recognize me now? Hi, I'm Jace Pong and I went viral in 2019. So, which video? Of course, it's the Naruto run. And uh, before that, there's this challenge called the Mirror Run. I thought it's quite cool, people just running through mirror as if they, are, they travel through places. I did my own version with my friend Douglas, fighting over two pace. I was thinking maybe Naruto is uh, one of the most popular anime. So I just thought like, oh, okay, yes, I shall be Naruto and then do a Mirror Run. So we try out. That video went viral on Night Gag. It like, just exploded overnight. There's a lot of shares on Facebook, like 200,000 plus shares on Facebook and then almost 2 million views on my Instagram. I eventually posted it on TikTok. Imagine two guys spending 5 to 6 hours in the public toilet and then of course the funny thing is that every time someone comes to the toilet and we pause for a moment then they will give us this judgy look two guys wearing like this anime costume while they're doing the toilet they just pretend it's our phone then we try to listen to his P sound like oh is it done soon okay done maybe okay then we just pretend okay, okay, okay resume <laughs> then we start running again running running keep running running so we run easily few thousand times lah. so of course the process itself is uh, tiring when it went viral it's, to me it's like wow yes it, the whole world saw it and I am Play Singapore on the map, people like, hey, this content came from Singapore, this guy from Singapore. All of these uh, positive comments are actually uh, very useful for me and very encouraging for me because they are like motivation for me that, oh, of course, whatever I'm doing is worth it, you know. Yeah, of course, there's also uh, hate comments as well, and people be like saying, uh, cringy, this is so lame, like, huh, this sort of thing also can go viral, this sort of thing is on Nike. People always say, like, it's the internet, you can post whatever you want, which I personally think is not true because it's the internet, you should be responsible to know what you're typing because what you type may affect someone else. There's a lot of pressure making videos after having a viral video so because people will expect your video to be better than before at the same time I don't only want to be known as uh, oh, this Naruto guy this Naruto Miran guy I want to be known as oh, the viral guy the guy can always make video viral and with that it's not easy you need to have a lot of consistent result I did it twice I only need to have uh, the third time fourth time fifth time to really prove to the people that hey, I can become a viral video star one of the more significant things that happened to me after the Miran thing was that I started getting brand deals, sponsorship related to anime stuff, which I also I personally like it a lot. I've been doing YouTube for a few years, uh, since 2008. There were just few guys filming, doing the very guerrilla style. It has been a, a long journey for me, because back then when we do content just about doing things that we like, then after a while we realized that oh you're doing things that you like doesn't necessarily be what people like. My style of work has also changed quite quite a bit. I used to do a lot of action, now I do a lot of uh, comedy, uh, parody stuff, trying to cater what the market need, what people will like. It's easier to make a content viral last time because you have this small pool of content creators. Right now, even if content is good, it may not go viral. How I differentiate myself from my other content creator is that uh, I try to add in all animation, VFX, so I try to make this my niche. A few months later, when the Avengers came out, the trailer, uh, me and Douglas said, like, hey, why not we do a, a parody trailer? We've seen people doing a low-cost thing, so we thought like, why not we do a low-cost, but we do it with cinematic look. So for this Avengers uh, low-cost parody, we try to match the lighting as close as possible. And uh, I think one of the funniest part is that, you know, the Avengers A, then I did it with the cleat, uh, this gap, the A, it shape, then it looked like the Avengers logo. So a lot of people really enjoyed that part. I didn't expect it to be this big. It's like the next morning I woke up and like people tagging me like, oh my god, Russo Brothers shared your videos. We posted your video. It's like, you know, striking Toto twice in two months. Eventually, they also uh, invite me to like movie screening for Avengers, which I really, really, truly enjoyed that experience. So right now, after two years, I'm still doing a lot of TikTok, still doing a lot of short form content, and I'm still doing a lot of mirror run. I'm able to make a career out of it, so something I'm happy, you know, like they say that like, if you enjoy what you work, you don't feel like you're working every day. I'm in my own company called Pandasic Media. We focus a lot on social media content. What we do is, of course, commercials, sometimes narrative. When I was younger, when we do content, it was just about the fame, it's about getting the following. I will always check my YouTube, check my Instagram, how many views, how many likes. At the end of the day, it's really about uh, what kind of content you do that uh, will craft your career or see where you're going. Do you feel good making this kind of content? I realized the bigger picture is not just about that, it's about uh, impacting someone's life and also to put a smile on their faces. Hi, I'm Jace Pua and you're watching Viral Video Star.